let us take one more example for basis path testing this is a code given to us now we need to create control flow graph in first step right so first find out total number of blocks here so here you can uh, start directly without using uh, start and end also and you can uh, just specify the block numbers instead of writing these things so you can directly like write it like this so this becomes your block one two three four five six and seven if you take start and end then it becomes again nine uh, nine blocks so for this so first if a value is equal to 354 so if that condition is true then move to this statement if you need to check the condition if b value is greater than 6 so here if b value is greater than c then a equal to b so here write it as a equal to b say if this value is false move to this fourth block which is taken as a equal to c in both the cases say if the condition is true we'll move to a equal to b and then you need to end this here right here at the same time here if the condition is false then you need to move to this block 4 and finally again you need to end that also as we are uh, as the code is given like this so we are moving to 5 which represents end if according to this code after this you need to end this if case also. So here 6 indicates the second end if. And finally print, seven, uh, print A. This is nothing but your 7. 7th no block. Now. Okay. So after drawing the flow graph. Step 2 is we need to calculate cyclometric complexity. Right. So, how many number of edges we have in this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, why we need this additional uh, extra edge from 1 to 7? Is this required means? Yes. Say if this condition is true, then only we'll move, we are moving inside, right? If this condition is false, then directly we need to move to end if so that's the reason why we consider this direct edge from 1 to 6. So this is also required. So along with this, how many number of edges? 8. Number of nodes depends on number of blocks. How many blocks we have? 7. So 8 minus 7 plus 2. So which gives you 3. So we need to design 3 test cases again. So for before that, identify independent paths. So, what are the paths? So, we can have direct path from 1 to 6, 6 to 7. So, that is nothing but path 3. So, you need to include both the start and end nodes here in this path. So, second, uh, the other path is 1 to 2 and move towards this left side. 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. This one. Leftover path is towards right side of this graph now. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. Right? So, now we got independent paths as well. So, we need to design the test cases accordingly. And after uh, that, so we'll, after designing the three test cases, you need to execute them. And then evaluate the coverage. Check if uh, the code is having any errors or not.